So Ted, this is, uh, you just told me what this is, that it's a cabinet of curiosities, but it is a really unique one. Tell me what's in here. Bits and bobs and leftover parts from years of acquisition and repairs and removals of inappropriate parts from bad restorations and what have you. Stuff that can't be connected to anything else, but is still useful. Or we just don't want to get rid of it. <laughs> sure. <laughs> and then there's, you know, parts and tools and, you know, webbing and linen and string and wax, you know, whatever kind of stuff we need. And I'm looking at these cards. These look like they were typed 50, 70 years ago. Yeah, this is, this is, this is the old school here. This has been around here a long, long time. <gasps> We oh, more tools. Pieces. Oh, my God. Really? Yep. A oh, little bit of everything in here. Wow. Oh, man. Are you still adding to this cabinet, or is this sort of uh, frozen in a specific time? It's, it's sort of frozen. Um, you know, things like a lock that would come in now as part of an, an acquisition, we would either accession right. properly, right. catalog it, put it in storage, or we probably wouldn't take it. Um, this is a bullet mold. That's right. Oh, and that's so is this. I just, yeah. Oh, oh but yeah. But these are round bullets. Yep, and those yep, are pointy yep. bullets. Oh my gosh. And, yeah, this, this one's broken. You see, and it's you know it's been through the been through the wars. You might say. Amazing. So, not something that's considered accession worthy, but we're not going to get rid of it. We're going to spend a few minutes going through yeah, these drawers. Yeah. The thing I thought you might really get into was um <laughs> here we go, here we go. <laughs> you like uh you like gauntlet fingers you should play with that or or here's one that's you know and you can sort of this is these are nice because you can see how yeah um oh. that's a better example because it's actually riveted this one's been screwed together but we use these like when we'll give a tour kids come in we want to explain how armor moves right that is the best way to explain it is, is a piece like that because you can hand that around and let let people touch it they don't have to wear the gloves just, just, I mean, yeah. I mean, I can feel the refinement. I can That's, feel. I wish we had the whole gauntlet. I can really feel nice. the expertise yeah. in. We have two of them. You want to put them in both hands here? Wow. Hold your hands yes. up. Yes. Oh, there you go. Oh, my God. Wow. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Really, these, uh, you know, it's, it's, we talked about like those crunchy, washers and other stuff but it's like they're also prioritizing because they're building for they're, they're making stuff on the clock oh, so yeah. where it matters the fitment is just yeah it, it's kind of amazing uh, you know sometimes they're things fit kind of weird and other times they just nailed it oh, oh that's man. a particularly just that feeling is yeah. such a thing yeah and so yeah there's all sorts of weird <laughs> bits and bobs in here you know here's a finger this is what's left of that that's oh. probably not original leather. That's been redone at some point. It's horrible, bad quality leather. But each this of is the a lambs big problem has, for us. Each of the lambs has these little ribbed ends. Two rivets per lame. Wow. Yep. But it's a pain to repair, I'll tell you that. <laughs> this texture is really neat, too. This That would have been hand carved in there with a file or a chasing tool of some kind. Wow. What else we got in here? We got... Oh, fragments of Japanese armor or, well, no, this isn't Japanese. This is, you know, Turkish or something, but, you know, they're not going to be displayable anymore, but they're right, still right. interesting references for us. And what is, oops. And we've got, oh, all kinds of bits of chain mail. Oh, man. And, you know. Right, because it was endlessly cut up and repurposed. Yeah, and so it's completely, it's we're unable to identify age on these fragments. You can't, you know, carbon date them or anything, right? right? So they, they're kind of lost to us as documentary evidence. Right. So but they become useful to explain to people what a piece of mail looks like in different weights and gauges of mail, and you can let people touch them and handle them. Um, so that's our, that's kind of our junk this, this weird thing cabinet. You this know. has to be, in terms of the sheer volume of things in it, a, a nearly, a ribbons. nearly unique object in the universe. This cabinet. I certainly, you know, we talk sometimes about redoing the lab and you know getting more modern equipment in here. This is staying. This will. Right. This will not change. This will never change. <laughs> this will never change. What an amazing cabinet! Oh my god, I could spend weeks in here. It's pretty fun. What else have we got? Um, Cuffs. More more chainmail. Oh, here's a neat one. 
This is mail that someone has woven like leather and there's fabric backing that. it. And I don't know what this is exactly, but it's kind of weird. Wow. The rivets are really big chunky if you can see. Yeah. They've got every these, like, single ring is on riveted. Them. Yeah. Hand hand uh riveted on the on the uh the rings. How would they would they I mean, actually, I could feel that if you had this all over, you'd feel pretty protected. Yeah, yeah especially over a padded garment underneath it. That's amazing. It's just weird stuff in the cabinets. <laughs> this is my favorite cabinet I have ever witnessed. I, I like your reaction to it, because I have to say, you know, sometimes you have to sort of pinch yourself a little bit, right? Yeah. Rem remind yourself, there's some cool things here that you're working with, and well, it's not just a nine-to-five job. And this is like... This is the result of like two or three industries hundreds and hundreds of years ago, yeah. right? Just incredible. That might be one of my favorite cabinets I have ever witnessed, Ted. Thank you, man. That's, good. That's what a treat.